Now this is the first night vision equipment I've ever used. It's the night sight NS200. The 200 is designed for a use of about 200 meters. You also get the NS50 which is designed for about 50 meters and best suited to air rifle and rimfire. This was sent out to me from Dave at night sight who I met at the Midlands Game Fair last year, courtesy of Malcolm Bernard from Country Pursuits TV. Thanks again, Malcolm. Now, this is only out on loan. Uh, Dave sent it out, says here, have a go at it, see what you think, have a bit of fun. So, this is sort of my unboxing and uh, first reactions to the equipment. The unit all comes neatly packed up in a nice plastic case. When you open the box, you'll get all the written literature, the instruction manual, guarantee and warranty card, and additional information with Facebook and Twitter pages. Now it's always wise to have a good look at the instruction book before you start. I said a good look. The instructions are basically uh, what all is in the box. How everything connects together. And the different settings on the infrared illuminator. And if that isn't plain enough, there's a lovely big picture on the back cover sh showing you how everything goes together. First out of the box, it's the LCD monitor and infrared illuminator, which has six different settings. Next we have the battery, which comes in one of the best battery cases I think I've ever seen. Good strong unit. Next is the camera, which fits to the back of your telescopic scope. Then we have the battery charger, which runs off the mains electricity. Now we have two rubber sleeves, both are different sizes, that slide over the end belly of your scope and onto the camera. Both are embossed with the night sight logo on it, which is very nice. We have two different sized rings for fitting the LCD monitor to your scope's body tube, one in uh, one inch and the other in 30 millimeter. And we have a good long lead for the power cable. They have also sent a simple recording unit, which I think was purchased off eBay for about 40 quid, and some help for instructions and a have fun message, which came in handy as the instructions that came with it were in a language I just couldn't understand. The unit records in MP4 and it's okay but Dave has been experimenting with far better units and had far better footage and success with it. There also is a pile of other cables and bits and pieces that come with it. One of which is a cable that Dave wired up himself so that I could uh, record from the AV out unit as each manufacturer wires up the 4 pin plug in a different way. This is the USB cable which you use to charge from the mains as well as upload into the computer. This is the little lead that Dave wired up. The red end goes into the recording unit. But Dave has been looking into the idea of an adapter kit to allow you to record the different types of units. To fit the night sight to your scope, take one of the clamps. This is the one inch clamp. Take the threaded bar out of the centre of it and clip it over your scope's body tube. Then reapply the little threaded bar and the knurling screw, but don't tighten it up as yet, as the unit has to stay loose to let the LCD unit slide into place through the little dovetails. Once in place, tighten the knurling screw up to stop the unit from sliding about. Then add the little rubber sleeve onto the back of your scope's eye bell. There's two different types for different sizes of uh, scopes. Then add the little camera unit to the back of this, ensuring that, it, that it's the right way up. The cable from the LCD monitor goes into the first connection. The power cable goes into the central one. And if you should want to, the AV out cable connects into the third one on the right. The battery simply connects into the end of the cable for the power supply. 
and the AV cable connects into whatever recording device you have. I know what you're thinking, there's a powerful lot of cables there to be tripping over. Well, if you're not really wanting the AV out to record to something, then you only have the one cable running to the power supply, which is the same as you would have for any lamping kit anyhow. And the other cable running from the monitor, you can wrap around the eye bell of the scope a time or two to get it out of the road. The real benefit of the night sight unit is that within a couple of minutes, you can fit it to your usual day hunting rig without any loss of zero. This is very beneficial for anybody who only has the one rifle and can't afford to buy a second rifle to fit a dedicated night sight unit to it. So I set up a few different targets. They're different coloured plastic bottle tops at 30 yards. To see how the gun handled with the unit in place. This is something you need to practice as you're making a bit of a compromise with your head position when you're shouldering the rifle. The unit seems to work best if you're using a resting aid like a bipod, a set of shooting sticks works well, or leaning over the bonnet or windowsill of a jeep. But I managed to shoot quite comfortably and accurately from a sitting position here. Now unfortunately there's no audio with the uh, scope cam footage and the picture you see here probably won't be anywhere near as good as what you'll see in the Night Sights LCD monitor after it was edited and rendered for YouTube. But you can still see the pellets hit the metal plate in the background and the different shades of colour of the plastic bottle tops I'm shooting at. The scope is sitting at 10 power magnification and the infrared illuminator on the night sight is sitting at, at its maximum. I'd like to give a big thank you to uh, Dave from Night Sight for sending the unit out to me and also to Malcolm Bernard from Country Pursuits TV for arranging it for me. I do have some successful footage of rabbit shooting and rat shooting and I'll upload them hopefully in another video soon. Also I'll add a uh, link in the description box to where you can view the night site, read up a bit more about it and the current UK prices.